Hi, I'm Simon Unger, the Chief Executive of the Procurement Group. And today I want to talk to you about KPIs, Key Performance Indicators, and how uh, in one instance that we came across last week, these figures were manipulated in such a brazen manner that it did make me smile, but I, it actually made me very angry and um, and, and disappointed actually in uh, um, in, in in people and uh, the way the, the lengths that they'll go to to try to justify their own existences. So we had a situation where we introduced a client to a supplier and we agreed a set of performance criteria and included in those performance criteria was a specific KPI relating to uh, order fill rates. So that would be if I order 100 units um, from a supplier, it could be spread across different items and they order 98, then they've had a 98% fill rate on that order. So pretty simple in, in my world, pretty simple. Uh, however, what this supplier has done, because they know that they're measured on their KPIs um, uh, and they get penalties for not hitting their KPIs, uh, what this supplier has done is invoked a process which adds another step into the, into the system. So when you go to place an order, when our client goes to place an order on them, they don't actually process the order at that stage. What they say is, oh, yeah, we, well, uh, we haven't got those in stock, um, and uh, so we can't fulfill those, but we can give you these or whatever. Uh, and the client then either confirms or says, oh, well, actually leave it and I'll get them elsewhere, um, whatever the situation may be. The point is that from the supplier's perspective at that stage, there's never been an order. So they, 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 there's nothing to, to measure. In my world, sure, there's been an order and they can't perform and they can't deliver and they need to be held accountable for that, especially if there are, if it's been forecasted, the requirements being forecasted. And this supplier we've been dealing with now for about 18 months and it's been an ongoing issue throughout the whole relationship. And uh, we find them to be, unfortunately, particularly slippery. Um, and uh, a senior management level, the response we got last week to this issue was just um, outstanding, <laughs> um, outstandingly, shockingly bad. Um, yeah, how someone can say, oh, yeah, our KPIs, we measure uh, order fill rate. But uh, actually, when you come to us with an order, we don't we don't treat it as an order uh, at that point in time. Um, we're, we're going to ignore the ones that we can't fulfill. And we'll only we'll only measure our fill rate on those orders that we can fulfill. Uh, that is not how the real world works. If I go into a in, into a retail store and I want to buy something, uh, I want to buy that specific item. And if I can't buy it, then th that store has failed. And it's exactly the same with suppliers of business products. So all I'm saying to you this week is when you're managing your business costs as part of any spend optimization program, the procurement management program, when you're looking at cost reduction, look at those KPIs. They're really important. We measure uh, at, at, at TPG when we're looking at a project for a client. We measure, measure service level. We measure product quality. We measure payment terms. And we look at price. But we do all four. And without getting all four aligned, it's not a successful project. We cannot optimize a client spend on their business costs unless we've done all four. And I would ask you to be really clear um, as far as these KPIs are concerned. I, I, I feel uh, bad that it's taken us 18 months to work out that actually the, these people just totally distort their figures. Um, but we have now found that out and we will deal with it. Um, but uh, it, it, it doesn't do anything to build my faith in uh, in human nature and i wanted to share that with you uh, as a real life experience of what goes on in the wonderful world of procurement management have a great week thank you bye